If the decision stands, it will put women's health at risk. The White House says the FDA will not make any immediate changes to the availability of mifepristone, the medication used for abortions up to 11 weeks in pregnancy. We obviously disagree strenuously with the decision in Texas, and uh, the Department of Justice has already um, filed a notice of appeal. Friday, a ruling by a federal judge in Texas put the future of the drug in jeopardy. The administration is appealing, but some Democrats say the FDA has the authority to ignore the ruling, an idea Texas Congressman Tony Gonzalez rejects. It's very dangerous when you have the, the, the administration coming out and saying they, they may not uphold uh, a ruling. But the issue is complicated because on Friday, a different judge in Washington state issued a contradictory ruling barring the FDA from doing anything to reduce the availability of the drug. And I think it's important that states uh, dictate their futures. It's really egregious about this opinion is that it would be a, a nationwide ban. Jennifer Klein, director of the White House Gender Policy Council, believes the Biden administration could win in court even if the case ends up before the conservative-leaning U.S. Supreme Court. Klein says when the Supreme Court ended nationwide abortion rights, the court said it was returning power to states. This ruling in this case um, would be the exact opposite.